Cammie Huddleston here, one of your wedding loving hosts on Wed Society. I'm back today to talk about how to build your wedding mood board on Canva. If you haven't already done so, you'll need to sign up or download the Canva app. You'll need that to follow through the rest of this video. So by now, you should have completed part one and part two of our mood board challenge. You've put in all that work, now it's time to get designing. You'll need to save six to 10 images to your device, could be your desktop or your phone. Uh, for purposes of today's video, I'll be showing you how to build on the desktop version of Canva, but it's easy to do on the app as well. So we're gonna head over to the Wed Society community, click on the Discovery tab, and then click on Join the Challenge. Once that opens, you'll scroll about halfway down. We have developed three different mood boards for you to choose from. I'm gonna go with option two. That's gonna open. Um, now I see my board. Now I need to bring in my six to 10 images that I had saved. I'm gonna click on Uploads. You can either drag and drop them over or you can click Upload Media, choose Device. And I've saved mine in a folder named Mood Board Images. If you hold down Shift, click the first one and the last one, it will highlight them all at once. And they will upload in a flash. So now what I like to do when I'm starting to arrange them and build my board out is pick the image that I've uploaded that really is the epitome of what I want my day to be. Um, so it's gonna, you know, be the strong image, strongest image on your board. For me, that image is this bouquet. So how you get the images from your uploads to the Canva board is to simply click, hold, and drag to the spot. Once you have it in place, if you need to adjust it left or right, it will typically fit um, into the space height-wise. So you'll double click and just hold and drag to get it to where you want. And then you click off the board. Um, I'm going to choose my next image and just drag and drop, raise that one a little bit, and just keep building it out with each of the image. Now what I just did, I instead of dragging and dropping the image, I just clicked on it and so it went to the center of my board. All I have to do is press delete to get rid of that and go back and drag it to the area I want. And again, I'm going to adjust this one over. I'm gonna bring my bar image. And keep building. You might go through several iterations. There's nothing wrong with switching. If you feel like you wanna do a few different options, I can show you how to do that in just a second. Let me build this out completely. There's no wrong order to do it in. This one I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, so I'm gonna double click on it and then drag the circle corners to make it a little larger. The delicateness of the edge of that imitation is what I really wanted to capture. Let's see, so I have all my images in. I'm gonna adjust a couple. Now, thinking back to part one of our challenge was to come up with some descriptive words that really honed in where you're going with your wedding day. I'm just gonna double click on the words we have there and type those in. I'm gonna choose chill, cheerful, southern, and airy. If you wanna get a little creative, you can also click on the lines, hold down shift, it will highlight all of them. Double click the little color box up here in your palette and you can change the color just to change the design just a little bit. Now the fun part. Um, as After you have your images in, you can kind of start to see what your color palette um, is presenting itself as. One of the fun things with Canva that can really help you build out your color palette, you're gonna click on your colors down here at the bottom that we have preset, click on your color box at the top, and it's gonna show the photos that you have on your page. So I'm gonna click See All, these are the color palettes that are mostly pulled from, that are pulled mostly from the um, pictures on your board. I'm just gonna use these to start building my palette. This might take some tweaking, that is okay. There can be many versions of it. If I don't like a particular color, I can click on it 
Go back to my color palette, click on the plus sign, and drag and adjust until I get it just right. Perfect. Now, if you want to do multiple versions of one board, all you have to do is click this duplicate sign. It will copy a second one and you can start the process all over again. Once you finish, double click the name up here and rename it. Click the download arrow. You can save it as a PDF or a PNG and then upload it to Wed Society. We cannot wait to see your boards.